You see that intro? It took me about 30 minutes to make. I'm not even gonna lie. Would have been faster if that software didn't keep crashing. I'ma be real. But anyways, we're gonna keep this video short, at like five minutes long, I'm hoping. But you see me, look, you see that? I made the intro and now I'm voicing over it. No script, no nothing, just Spotify and vibes. But anyways, games, man. This year we had we had a few good ones. You know, game game awards. Forget about that. That doesn't count. Like, you see who won this year? No way. Game of the year is Baldur's Gate 3. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> like, what is what is even that game? Like, I'm not hating on it, but I never played it, so I don't like it. <laughs> but you know, you seen the intro. So you already know what games I'm gonna be talking about. Let me let me bop up the script real quick. There we go. <laughs> okay, the order of the games I talk about don't matter. So I'm gonna start from the bottom, make my way up. So first, Tears of the Kingdom. This game came back out maybe like May. This game, first game was banging. Everyone knows this. Everyone knows this. Was it in the Game Awards? I don't know, but you know. Tears of the Kingdom. That game's beautiful. We wish, I wish at least, it was on a better operating system. The Switch is a bit shit when it comes to open world games. But you know, it does its bit. Me, I'm not the best at the game, I'm a bureau. Even though I'm a gaming prodigy myself, I'm dog shit at that game. Like the footage I recorded that you're seeing right now, long. I forgot how, I forgot all the buttons. <laughs> but you know, the game's pretty, Skydiving, that was a W thing. They added three layers, like sky, ground, and underground. It's just a dope game. So I'ma rate it seven oranges out of 10 apples. Strong game, strong game. Next, we got the big and bad Spider-Man. Let me just, let me just open the script real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. anyways, Spider-Man 2. Come on, I'm not saying it's the best game this year. Honestly, I wouldn't say there is a best game. Obviously, it's not Baldur's Gate 3. Come on now, be real. I don't care how well made it is. <laughs> Spider-Man 2. That was basically a movie. In my video, when I made it, I was just saying this all the time. It was a movie. And it is. Cinematics beautiful. Pacing decent. But you know, like, in the opening scene, when you play as Miles, he gets chucked through the building by Sandman. Bro, that's all I have to say. <laughs> this Spider-Man, slightly better than Tears of the Kingdom, just because Tears of the Kingdom is like a slow paced game but that, that spider-man 2 it had that pacing so i'm gonna give it eight cobwebs out of 10 anvils next game super mario wonder me myself i never finished this game not yet i'm on the last world like i was making a, a series on this but I, you know i just played it in my own time because i just couldn't be asked to record it i'm gonna be real music nintendo never flops even with tears of the kingdom nintendo never flops Music always W. If if you ever disagree with a Nintendo song, your ears just do not work. Cause me, I miss listening to music to 24/7. Like right now, I'm reading the script here, and it's saying, "You don't have to spend your life with me." That's the script, bro. The weekend. <laughs> That's the script. We read off Spotify's lyrics. Anyways, back to the script. Back to the script. Hold up, hold up. I'm changing the script. I changed the script. Now we're back at it. Are we still on Mario Wonder? I don't remember. Um, yeah. Graphics beautiful. You know, I recorded some Yoshi and uh, Nabbit gameplay because I never touched those characters because those are like baby characters. But just just for this background rec background video, you know, you got some Yoshi and Nabbit. Anyways, Super Mario Wonder. You know, that's a decent eight Goombas out of 10 Bowsers. Like, next. Your only move is hustle. I call this Yomi hustle because your only move is, is long to say. Yomi, you know, Yomi. Yomi hustle. This game, not a lot of people will enjoy, but I'm telling you, this game is phantasmagorical because it's like there was this game, I don't even know what it was, like Tori Dash or something on Steam back in the day. That game was too hard. This one is like that, but they made it easier. So I'm gonna have to show some love and it came out this year as well. Yeah, it's, it's very like, the first part is like slow paced, you gotta move all your shits, like move your character super slow paced. You know, you can counter and stuff, you just need to try and predict what the other guy's gonna do. And if you can counter and slap back, it's calm. Because the main four like starters is like a ninja, cowboy, robot and something else, a mage. But you know, you could do that or you could pick Spongebob's disabled cousin Sponge and you could play as Broly and have them two fight. 
it's wild. So, you know, as a general game, it wouldn't be as highly rated because people, these TikTok, you guys with your TikTok brains can't stand five minutes without like swiping or clicking buttons. But this slow paced game, love it. I'm gonna give it seven punches out of 10 slaps. Love it. Party animals. This game is kind of like uh, gang beasts. But you know, I saw this game back on the, back when they were like talking about it and it took way too long for this game to come out. I'm gonna be real. I got it when it came out, but the wait was too long. Anyways, back to the script. Party animals, W game. I'm not gonna rate it as highly as like Tears of the Kingdom or that because you know, it's kind of like a remake, but it's like a very polished one because gang beasts, W game, but I'm pretty sure that it's still in beta, but they're just not updating it. So, you know, Pi Animals got go over uh, that one. So, I'm gonna give it uh, six dogs out of seven uh, out of ten cats. Next game, Lethal Company. I'm surprised this one wasn't in the Game Awards, maybe because it came out so recently. But, like, come on, Lethal Company, please. You've seen my last like 72 videos. Lethal Company, man, that game, straight vibes. W. Got you, me, me as a man, I shouldn't get scared. This game get me scared. <laughs> Cause it's so quiet and the only thing you can hear is your surroundings. And you hear your teammates scream in the distance and die. Or I be the one screaming and they hear me die. I'm typically the victim in this game, I'm gonna be honest. It's very fun. You've seen my videos if you have jokes. You know, not much else to say about it. You know, I haven't tried any of the mods, so the game would probably be even better with mods. So I'm gonna give it a good 9.7 minus 1.2 out of 10. Chill out. Next, Moonstone Island. This game, probably no one knows about I'm a bro. Maybe not as bad as Yummy Hustle, but I like this game. It's like Stardew Valley. If you like Stardew Valley, the seal type of game, kind of. But then the fighting mechanics, in my opinion, are the best part of this game. I love this card, this card game shit. Cause it just, for some reason, card games just remind me of that one episode from Adventure Time, you know, Card Wars. Cold. So when, so when they do a good card game, I think it's W. I'm not talking about this League rubbish or this uh, Riot Games card games. I don't know, I don't know what it's called, but you, you, you know what I talk about. Anyways, Moon, Moonstone Island. You know you can date. They got some baddies up in there, man. I don't know about these he she they dems, but you know the she she's. <laughs> The she she's man, they're kinda nice. But there's two girls that are lovely. But you know, if you're like me, lonely as fuck, this game is for you, bro. No, just... <laughs> Don't play games like this if you're lonely, because that's just depressing. I like the, I just really like the card fighting mechanics in this. It's like Pokemon and Stardew Valley. If Pokemon used cards. You know, sometimes I'm just hoping I get the bash card when I don't get it, so. You know, that's a solid seven moonstones out of ten cool slimes. Anyways, you know. This video was purely off my head, straight waffle. You know, I'm just talking about the games that I played, that came out this year that I played, that I thought were Ws. Obviously, there's games that I play that are not from this year, all the time. You know, you got Terraria, you know, a bit of Resident Evil 5 with the boys, you know, Fortnite, Apex. There's so many games. But I was just gonna make a video on the my top 2023 game, which was only like seven games to be real. But yeah, looking at the script, we got some spare time. So yeah, love man. I'll release like a, you know, New Year's video. Anyways, the script says I gotta go. It says goodbye, good night. So <laughs> yeah, anyways, thank you for watching. <laughs>